Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today from a legend who is currently in the 3100, so that is incredible. Taking a look at the OP, the overpowered double dragon team. Now they are using Sneezla, I don't showcase the Sneezla on like every team so far, but you don't need Sneezla for this team. You could run Buzzball, which is still inaccessible to many trainers, but aside from Buzzball, you could run Toxic Toxicroak, Polyrath, there's many options you can run. The double dragons are really what's going to do well. Uh, to be honest, it's just so overpowered. Now, I understand that Jangmo O is still incredibly difficult to get, so a lot of you may not have it. I, I understand it, and I'm, you know, it's really unfortunate. Too bad it wasn't more accessible, uh, but you know, it is what it is. This, this is uh, the team that will probably help a lot of trainers get to legend. It's so overpowered. Double Dragon, there's nothing that walls it, there's nothing that can answer double dragons outside of opposing double dragon teams, and that's just a mirror match. That's just the way things are, you know, that's how it is. I mean, nothing resists it. I guess besides Lucario, but Lucario is weak to all the fighting types, uh, so you're not going to see a Lucario. And even if you do, I mean, the dragons can still do well against it because Dragon Tail is just still going right through Lucario anyway because of how squishy it is. So it's just an overpowered team, it really is. Um, anyway, that's going to be the first game for you, so that's going to be a good win there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and move into the next battle, and we'll see how the next game goes. So Sneasla into Sneezo, so Hisui and Sneezo, okay, cool. So uh, I would say, yeah, Sneasla definitely has the advantage here because Shadow Claws are going to be doing neutral damage, right? Whereas the Poison Jab attacks from Hisui and Sneasel are going to be resisted, and the Aerial Ace... Uh, obviously it's going to KO either one of them, so we'll see. Uh, this Sneasla is going to go ahead and chill. There could be an Exorcism Bait, but no, it's going to be an Aerial Ace. Makes sense. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for an Aerial Ace. Yeah, this Sneasla should be able to win this one if they choose to. We'll see. Um, okay, so the opponent is just going to let it go. So they do let it go. Switching into Koma O. So another opposing dragon, <laughs> or another dragon on the opposing side. So Hakuma O versus Koma O. Uh, so we're going to see a shield right now. It's going to be a Dragon Claw. It's a good shield. We do see a Dragon Claw. Let's see if the Hakama O shields, if they have a Koma O in the back, which I'm thinking they probably do. They might not shield, but they actually do shield. So we'll see what comes in. Um, I will see. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so it's going to be, okay, Hakama O. The opponent is going to go ahead and switch into Hitmonchan, so it's not Double Dragon on the opposing side. Uh, so this Hitmonchan is going to go ahead and throw an attack right now. It's going to be a Power Up Punch, but that is not going to KO. I'm uh, going to go ahead and go for this Dragon Claw. This Dragon Claw just comes out so fast with Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw. And this is just going to KO the Hitmonchan. And now out comes hakamo -Oh. So hakamo -Oh is going to go ahead and be able to KO. But that is totally fine because you have this Sneasler that can Shadow Claw down. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and move into the next battle. So yeah, that's going to be a win there. So we'll see how the next game goes. So it's going to be Sneasla into Machamp, okay? So Sneasla is a poison type, as we know, so it's going to be resisting the attacks. They switch into Scrafty. Very interesting to see a Scrafty. We're going to see the Xs right now, so going for, uh, I guess it's not really a bait. I mean, it's kind of a bait, but the Aerial Ace wouldn't really do too much. We're going to see an attack come in right now from the Scrafty. You're going to go ahead and let this go. It's going to be a Power Punch. Good call. Now you can go for the Aerial Ace. Even though Aerial Ace is super effective, it is a weak move, so it's not going to KO, but we do see a switch into Koma O. Koma O going for the farm down. Going to be able to take, if, the, if it is a foul play, it's going to be able to take it. It's just a power punch. Definitely can take that, and you could Dragon Tail down. Already at a Dragon Claw. You can see how powerful this team is. Uh, so Machamp coming in. Machamp will be hit with this Dragon Claw right now. Uh, so this uh, is going to do a lot of damage. And they're going to be able to counter down, I think. No, they're not. Never mind. Koma O just says nope. And he goes in and farms down. We see a place that can come in. But Hakama O is going to come in. And oh my gosh. This is. I mean, it's probably a blaze kick, but I'm going to go ahead and shield it up. It is a blaze kick. Obviously, Hakama O could take that. Uh, just going to go ahead and farm down. I mean, you have the shield. You might as well shield this and farm down. And that is going to be a good game to both trainers. Yeah, I mean, it's honestly. I don't want to say it's unfair to use these dragons, but it's kind of unfair to use these dragons. I mean, they have no weaknesses. You know, they're so powerful. Sneasla into Hakamo O. There we go. Um, okay, I guess you stay in with the Sneasla for right now because the Aerialis will KO. Uh, so we'll see if they want to shield. I do imagine they shield. Um, and I mean, I actually, I don't know if this will KO. Uh, okay. uh, actually, I, to be honest, I don't think that would have ko But either way, Sneasla, they're going for the farm down. That allows Sneasla to get to another Aerial Ace. That is huge. Because this is probably going to get the second shield. It does. So Hakamo-O is loaded. 
So you might have to, I mean, you could take one, maybe take one, fun down, or maybe shield both. We'll see what they decide to do. Uh, but either way, this Komo'o is going to fun down. Probably shield? No, just going to let it go. Okay, I mean, Dragon Claw is not going to KO, so going to go ahead and save the shield for Hakuma'o. Probably a little bit better. Uh, going to go ahead and switch out right now. In comes Polyrath. Now, it does have access to Ice Punch. Ice Punch does not one-shot, though. Um, so you could let it go. You could shield it. Just going to let it go. Um, Ice Punch, as we see, not going to KO. Uh, so, oh, they do catch. Okay, they catch on their Heracross. But, I mean, I'm, I'd be totally fine if this went into Heracross as well. Doing so much damage. Uh, able to farm that down. Very nice. And in comes Polyrath. Going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw. I mean, you could just see the strength in these two dragon types. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't have to tell you about it. You know it. But um, yeah, I'm sorry if the uh, dragons or the Sneasley get a little bit tedious. Um, you know, if there's any more unique picks, we'll see. But it's just so hard to bring in unique Pokemon uh, when it comes to this meta, to be honest. I mean, these Pokemon just dominate, especially the double dragons. I mean, absolutely insane. Uh, but that is going to be a good win, and we're going to go ahead. And these battles go by pretty fast if you're running the Double Dragon team, right? They do go by pretty fast. That's where the videos in the Fighting Cup generally have been, like, about eight, eight nine minutes uh, if there's only, like, five battles. But we do have one more battle in this video, so it's going to be Sneasler into Hakamo'o. So another Hakamo'o. You can see all these legends using them, which, you know, rightfully so. Um... So, they are continuing to overfarm Sneasler. is going to go ahead and go for this Aerial Ace right now. Um, they are going to go ahead and shield. Are they going to go for the fun down as well? They might... They are going for the fun down. That allows Sneasler to get to another one, as we saw earlier in the, the video. So, Aerial Ace is going to go ahead and get that second shield. So, now Komo'o comes in. Komo'o will be hit, or we'll see a shield. Uh, we'll see what they decide to do this time. They do let this one go. Last time they shielded the first one. Are they going to go ahead and shield, shield the second? Yes, they are. Because now I think Komo'o can farm down unless the opponent switches out. Uh, which they do. In comes Throw. Okay, but you can see Throw. I know people are hyping up Throw, myself included. But the thing is Zen Headbutt still not doing that much damage, to be honest. Even though that these fighting types are weak to it. And that's just because it's just a bad move. You know, Zen Headbutt is just a bad move. So Hakuma O is going to go ahead and shield this Body Slam. And we're going to see a farm down. Uh, and what is going to come in right now. Very hard to battle against these dragons if you're not using them, I'm telling you. Uh, Toxicroak, just going to go ahead and go for this dra Dragon Pulse, able to get to it. Um, so much damage. <laughs> so much damage. Does it KO? It does KO. No, it doesn't. One more will KO. Very nice. Able to take that there. Uh, and in comes uh, Hakamo'o, and that is going to go down, and that is going to be a great game. Very well played. So I wanted to show you one of the overpowered teams, and as you know... I mean, you know it's overpowered, right? The double dragon. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.